You want to add a mod pack to your simple game hosting server. We're going to show you how to do that in this video. It's pretty simple, but we're also going to be covering things on CurseForge and actually joining the server, which, while also relatively simple, can be a bit unexpected when you're joining a modded server. So let's get started. First things first, I do want to mention RAM. A lot of mod packs will require a lot of RAM. Most usually require at least six gigabytes of RAM. Some can even need 10 or more gigabytes of RAM. And when you're installing a mod pack, I will show you more about that. But to do that, you want to go to the console tab for your server. That's going to look like this. And you want to go ahead and stop the server in the bottom right right down here. Once the server's offline, we can go to mod packs up at the top, and here you'll be able to see all of our mod packs. You can check the different launchers out over here in the top right that we have. For example, CurseForge, Modern, FTB, Technic, and Voids or Wraith. We're going to be using CurseWorks, so that is the most popular Minecraft mod loader. As far as filtering, you can search for mod packs here. For example, we could search for Dawncraft if we wanted, but we're actually going to be using RLCraft for this video. Now, as far as RAM goes, as I mentioned, you can see the minimum amount of RAM a mod pack needs. In this case, for our L-Craft, that's six gigabytes, but some may need more, some may need less. And the minimum amount listed here is for one or two players on the server. Once you get past that, you will generally need more RAM than what is listed, but this is kind of a guide to get things going. As far as installing the mod pack on the server, just click on the version here. Select the version you want. RLCraft only has one, and then go ahead and click install, and then click yes. This is just warning you that everything on your server is going to be removed. That's okay in this case, but if it's not, make sure you make a backup, things like that, before moving forward. Once this is finished installing, we will be able to see that it's installed up here at the top. You can see RLCraft in the version we have installed, but we can go back to the console tab and actually start the server by clicking the start button here. It's that easy to get a mod pack installed on your server. However, you still need to install the mod pack locally using CurseForge. CurseForge or whatever mod loader you're using, FTB, Modernth, Technic, whatever it is, you'll need to install the mod pack using that mod loader in order to join your server because all the mods have to be installed locally and on the server. Luckily, CurseForge makes this easy as do the other mod pack installers like Technic, for example. Let's go ahead and in CurseForge, click on Minecraft here and get it installed. Now, if you are wondering where to download this from, the CurseForge launcher, in the description of this video, and most likely where you're watching this video, that article, at the very, very bottom here of this Setting Up Mod Packs in Your Server article, there's a link to all of the launchers here as well. So you can go download the launcher, get that going, and then install it. In this case, for CurseForge, we're going to just be, you know, installing it and looking like this and selecting Minecraft. Then you want to search for the mod pack you want. In our case, there's going to be RLCraft up here at the top, but whatever mod pack you installed, go ahead and search for it and then click on the install button. It'll then go ahead, download, install RLCraft. And what we want to do at this point while it's installing is actually add more RAM to our local Minecraft installation. Your server has RAM, but so does Minecraft locally. And a lot of times you need to bump it up a little bit in the CurseForge app. So to do that, come down to the bottom left here and then click on Minecraft. Scroll to the very bottom and you'll be able to see the amount of allocated memory. I currently have 10,000 megabytes. Most mod packs will need somewhere around 6,000 megabytes. Some can need 8 or 10 or even more. I'm going to go ahead and go with 10,000 because I have plenty of RAM to dedicate to Minecraft. Never dedicate more than half of the RAM your computer has to Minecraft though. So for example, if you had a 16 gigabytes of RAM, you would only want to dedicate 8 gigabytes to Minecraft maximum. But now we can go back here and navigate back to the My Mod Packs tab. i will be able to see RLCraft. It's already installed so we can go ahead and click play on it. When you click play it's going to open up the Minecraft launcher Well, you'll need to log in to the Minecraft launcher so I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is the default Minecraft launcher that you normally play Minecraft with. We're just launching it via CurseForge instead of the normal installation that you use. In the Minecraft launcher select Minecraft Java edition on the left hand side and then you'll see the mod pack you installed. Click play, click play again because you're playing modded Minecraft and now joining the server is easy. While Minecraft's launching with your mod pack, you can go back to your server's console and you want to get up here in the top right the IP address. This is what you and your friends will use to join your server using the mod pack via CurseForge or the mod pack launcher that you use. So we can go ahead and click on this to copy it. Once we've done that and RLCraft is open, we can join this server just like any other. Go to multiplayer and then add the server here and then you can name it anything you want and then type the IP address that we got on the website right into server address here. Then click done, and boom, there's the server. Double click to join it, and now you're playing your mod pack on your Minecraft server. If you run into any issues or have any questions, reach out to us via live chat in the bottom right of every page on the website. Enjoy your server.